Hi guys, this is me, Toby, the guy who is sharing knowledge in the field of computational fluid dynamics, uh, especially open foam. Uh, we are now at part three today of the Rack Vapor uh, Rap Rock Rack Rack Rock Vapor Classic part number three. Today we are not going to open foam, or we are not using open foam still, but uh, we are doing a very important part. It's the surface triangulation of the geometry we created the last time. Surface representation um, and the surface triangulation is very important in my experience for snappy hex mesh. And if you're not doing a good and well surface triangulation, snappy hex mesh will make you crazy, especially um, it will produce something that you are not aware of. Uh, my former colleague Alexander Vakrushev from the University Leoben, uh, he knows that and by the way, screw you. And he can confirm the statement that the surface triangulation of your m m surface, yeah, uh, representative surface uh, should be done in a way I will show you now. Okay. I don't want to uh, make you bored. Therefore, we are going directly to the directory. And uh, nothing nothing changed here. Actually, I just renamed um, my, the fluid representation. Uh, the last time it was a flood representation. And we directly start Salome. Um, I'm using Salome 9.5 right now uh, because now things are working um, fine for this purpose, I hope. Otherwise, I will switch. So we will open the last created file and we will just visualize the yeah, the solid part. So I did not save the solid part the last time we, I just make the solid part. So save it. Okay, this guy now, um, I commonly export this part as step file, um, smoking pipe, whatever. And I uh, start uh, something new in, in Salome in order to keep things more clearer and I load this already or create new created step file. Okay, the first part we are doing now is we split this geometry into named regions. These named re regions will represent later on the patches and open foam, so the boundaries. So we can use this create group again um we, we select one face and say this is an outlet um, we have an inlet the naming is actually total doesn't matter and we select all parts especially of this and these are walls okay um apply so what i can do now is I do have this, and pro probably people do, do make this uh, mistake. I can now, in uh, I can do this with uh, CAD software, and I can export these guys as STL files. Um, I make a new folder, STL bad, and I save this. In addition, I go to my work directory and open para view and now i load these three files just to give you an idea how they look like now okay so we want to have just solid it doesn't look too bad, actually. Um, I like it. But the problem you will see is when we activate 
the triangulation, we will see that, yeah, it, it is actually well triangulated, this part. This part could be a bit triangulated better, um, but here we have like long, very long triangles, and this part is not, not very well uh, yeah, represented by the triangles. And you will probably, this triangle will make you problems. Or even here, look at this. What is this? Very crazy triangles here. Very, very tiny, very sharp triangles. So uh, I believe if you make uh, snappy hex mesh, uh, meshing, you will get a problem. And also another big problem is you can see that these are not lying on each so the, the points they are not sharing the same connections at these interfaces interfaces so you will always have a small gap in between and your surface is not closed anymore these small tiny gaps you have in these triangles will for example if you make your mesh very fine um, Salome, uh, not Salome, Snappy Hex Mesh will recognize these gaps. And if you are meshing it, it will not cut out the cells. And you expect that, okay, the point in my mesh is somewhere located here inside. Uh, but Snappy Hex Mesh is actually not cutting it out. Um, that is probably the reason because you have gaps which is connecting this actually closed volume with the external part. So this is a bad thing. You should not do that. However, much easier it is to keep, um, to use Salome and go to the meshing module. Just use your smoking pipe um, object or whatever object you have. Give it a name, CFT mesh or whatever. Um, Smoking pipe, surface, surface, triangulation, surf triangulation. And then we don't do a 3D meshing. So we don't need tetraeders. We only need the surface. So we say algorithm is none. By the way, if you don't create the solid from the previous part, so you should, you, we, we created all the, the surfaces and then at the end I said, okay, I, I commonly I make a solid out of that. If you don't make this step, um, this uh, 3D operation is not uh, activated because you only have uh, a 2D representative uh, geometry. Okay, in 2D you can either choose uh, Mifesto or NetGen 2D. Netgen 2D makes, in my opinion, a better mesh, better triangulated mesh for larger geometries. Um, however, it takes a bit longer or much longer. So depending on the geometry, I switch between these two. And for the wide discretization, you can either use local lengths, number of, or whatever. I like the adaptive mesh where you say, okay, the minimum size, is one millimeter. The maximum size of the, the cells could be two centimeters, um, but I don't keep it smaller. And a deflection of, um, I don't know, we can still try 0 0.05. Um, if you click on help, we will get like an idea, an explanation of what is deflection? It is actually written, a parameter gives maximal distance of a segment from a curved edge. Okay. And this is now also in a millimeter. So it's uh, 500 micron, 0 0.5 millimeter. If you do so, and you let Salome creating your surface mesh, you will see that uh, the surface mesh is completely different to the one uh, here. Um, I will show it to you later. And hopefully this, uh, yeah, it will, it will solve so many problems uh, which you will get when you are using 
um, these triangulated things, uh, especially if you're using snappy hex mesh, but I probably think that you will also have it with CF mesh. And yeah, it's, in my opinion, it's uh, not the best way. So uh, I have no idea how long this takes. I will just make a pause and then come back when this is finished. Okay, see you soon. So uh, one minute passed and the algorithm is still working. Um, what just came into my mind is that, um, you see, even though that the, uh, the surface is very small, this algorithm is, uh, takes long for creating a nice surface mesh. Hopefully it will not fail. If this fails, I will try Mifesto because it's, um, my opinion, a bit, yeah, yeah, more stable. And you see, probably the, the, the things here is like some curved and very strange curvature behavior, which makes uh, trouble to this, not trouble, but makes the, the algorithm keeps uh, them a bit busy. I will just make a pause again and then we will see when it's finished. By the way, today I I um I found an error which I had in the the case where I was not able to resolve it. That was like an uh, the energy equation always gave me problem in buoyancy uh, cases and I'm, I encountered that the pressure wave, which is like going through my domain, does make a problem. And yeah, in order to, how should I say that? In order to overcome this, um, I had to choose another energy equation. So either um, I was, uh, I was using the sensible enthalpy equation um, then I switched to the yeah sensitive energy um, equation so we were not solving for H anymore we are solving for for E and this solved my problem I will I will focus on this a bit more and uh, this is just uh, something which is not related to to this screencast so I will just make a pause again and then um, hopefully the, the triangulation is done okay five minutes are passed um, I will just cancel it maybe it's doing something very weird so this does not look too bad however I want just to change the algorithm to Mephisto and wow complete different right this was completely different <laughs> so wow so not bad so for me it's um, zero point we will make it smaller so here now the, the question would be um, the scaling of my yeah the scaling of the of the geometry which was an inch might be wrong scale because you see um, I have now five millimeters ah, okay this is, is okay so in, however I I don't want to have this now um, it's still too coarse for me. Um, I'm more familiar, or I'm using probably this um, local length guy so that um, it creates some local length. So each element is now um, one millimeters. And yeah, this is a complete different surface uh, tr representation uh, compared to this one and yeah this part is somehow a bit terrible right now but 
um, you can for example go to geometry and extract some special things here and make for example i will just show it with this this part you make a sub mesh you use your your named group and then you can simply say okay i want to have geometry faster here the y discretization is now different i want to have like 0.0001 so 0.1 millimeter and then this guy gets much more refined as you can see here um, and you have to select this part so actually this uh, 0.001 was too fine for me i want to coordinate by a factor of five so this is fine and now we make everything so this is fine i'm not too happy with this triangle but um at the end um this surface uh, triangulation is much better um, you should play around with uh, this adaptive one or automatic length which is very nice for this purpose i will just um, make this mesh a bit smaller and here in order to have something different i make 0.25 um, just made it a bit more fine that we have here um, a better resolution okay and now we can export this as stl file yes and i put it also into the bad one of course if we are checking these two or comparing these two it is obvious that translate an x zero point let's see how far it is 10 centimeters it's too far let's make three and now show us the triangulation so this is a, a well triangulated surface of course um, you don't have to make it um, as smooth as i did it here now especially um, things like this can be very coarse so if you have five six triangles it's enough but these triangles which you create commonly when you export from a cat system is very bad the only thing that we have to do um, is that we exporting this stl from salome will lead to the fact that we don't have any named zone so this stl file is a single stl file there is no named surface so in order to change this you can here um, go to salome and make create groups from geometry select all this and then you are done oh i i did it already Let's see i'm sorry i forgot that i did it and then you have here these single triangulated surfaces which you have to export in a single file so i name this stl outlet so i push them and save them in the folder stl so i have three single stl files and we need one file so we we save this as um, surface triangulation so we save this um, file and as i said so this is this so we we have now these three single stl files but we would need one you can use the cat command which is the abbreviation of catch and then s c a so just go into the cad folder stl then make cat star pipe so actually cat is just opening the file and displaying 
all the content on the screen. While you make the wildcard star, it will just open all files and put it on the screen. If you pipe it, um, the output on the screen or on the terminal, so this standard um, uh, output is redirected into whatever you name it. So region, STL, STL, whatever name you would like to. You can also just put it A. Then all the content will just redirect it into the file A. And you see it, you have a new file called A, where in this A, you have the content of solid. Um, by the way, these are single triangles. This is solid. This is like the definition of the STL file. Um, you can also check out um, a video from Joseph Nagy. He explained how this file looks like. I don't want to explain it here. And of course, we will rename this region, region STL. STL, or you can uh, Joseph named it combined, combined STL. And if you open this STL, I know I have 21 minutes already um, over the time. STL combined, you have the same STL file, so very nice triangulated STL file. But now you can already see STL solid labeling, which means that you have different parts of this STL. Let's say it, um, you have patch names or surface names, which are represented in green and red and in blue. The name of these are outlet, wall and inlet. Yeah, outlet, inlet and wall. Uh, this is, these are the names which are inside this combined STL. Okay, that was everything. I think uh, nothing left to say. Surface triangulation is very important. So at, at the end, there was still something to say because surface triangulation is really important. Um, if you did that, you are a happy guy using Snappy Hex Mesh. Believe me. Um, therefore, we go on in the next video. Um, take care and bye bye. Take healthy in this crazy times and yes 23 minutes done bye guys